Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to Clean Care. In this episode, I'll show you how to properly operate and take care of a single disc floor machine. A single disc floor machine is commonly known as a scrubber or buffer, and is one of the most versatile pieces of equipment used in floor care. A powerful direct drive motor spins a pad or brush at 175 to 300 RPM. When in use, the wheels lift off the floor and the entire weight of the machine is distributed evenly over the pad, allowing the machine to be used in any direction. With the selection of the appropriate floor pad, this machine can be used for spray buffing, top scrubbing, carpet shampooing and bonnet cleaning, and floor stripping. Always start with a floor that's been dust mopped and damp mopped. Plug the cord into an outlet that gives the most range and doesn't interfere with the operation. First, lay the machine down on its handle, exposing the underside and drive assembly. Center the pad on the pad driver. Lock the pad driver in place by twisting counterclockwise and then place the machine back into the upright position. Loosen the handle and align it with the center of your hips. Now tighten the handle into place and hold it up against your body. Lift on the handle slightly until the weight of the handle feels like it is in a balanced and neutral position. Lifting the handle too much or not enough will cause the machine to move left or right when it's started and will be very difficult to control. Now, release the safety mechanism and hold the trigger to start the machine. The machine should hover in place. The side to side movement is controlled by slightly lowering the handle to move the machine to the left and slightly raising the handle to move the machine to the right. This lowering and raising must be very subtle as the machine reacts quickly. If you lose control of the machine, release the trigger immediately, but maintain hold of the handle. To move the machine forward and backwards, re-establish the neutral position and simply step forward or step backwards. For even coverage, it is best to swing the machine back and forth overlapping on each pass. When extra pressure to a specific spot is needed, the floor machine can be healed by slightly twisting the handle, which will shift the majority of the weight to the right side. High and low spots on the floor will affect the balance of the machine and will move the machine in an unpredictable manner. Smooth operation requires maintaining a firm but neutral position in all circumstances. Although there is very little maintenance on the motor of a floor machine, Proper care of the other components can ensure smooth operation and longevity. Always wipe down the machine thoroughly between usage to prevent a buildup of residue. One of the most common points of breakdown is the power cord. Always unplug and clean the cord after every use. When wrapping the cord, start from the machine end, allowing the plug end to uncoil naturally as you wind the cord around the handle. This will prevent kinks and breakage of the cord. It's best to lay the machine horizontally during storage. Although the machine takes up less space in the vertical position, the pad driver can warp over time. The machine can still be stored vertically, but the pad driver must be removed first. With proper use and care, a single disc floor machine will help you with floor scrubbing, polishing, and stripping for many years to come. If you found this video useful, hit like. To keep up to date with Clean Care, please subscribe. And for the widest selection of products, low prices, and same day shipping, explore our website below. Thanks for watching.